Okay, we need to make a decision. I think that Sasha, I don't think she has as much potential as the other girls, photographically and physically. What did you think of, of Sophie's effort on the course? I think it was a, a half-hearted crack at it, especially given that it was like early in the day and she was really fresh. I just... Another thing that was questionable about her was her posture and the way she held herself. Oh, you go. Natalie was very lazy. Yeah, I thought she was really lazy, actually. It wasn't so much Natalie's laziness for me as much as her, her back chatting mm -hmm. and her just yeah. not being able to yeah. take direction. Is that for the look again? Pardon me? It's the one that when she gets a bit tired on the shoot, will start getting a little bit antsy, and that's mm. when you actually want yeah. them to really pull through and not to give you attitude. Oh. Caroline, as, as far as capabilities on the course, they weren't outstanding, I think. Even though she was at the end, she was the weakest on the course, and I suppose that's what we're all here trying to... Do you think that the girls understand how important physical fitness and determination is? They just think they need to be skinny. Mm. And it's not about being skinny, it's about being lean about and healthy. about giving 100% in any yeah. situation. Yeah, that's what yeah. And that's really. what they've really got to come to terms with. Yeah. So we've made a decision? Yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Time to deliver. Well... This has been a hard elimination because we've only had a very short time to get to know you. But by secretly monitoring you, you have made an instant and lasting impression. Caroline and Sasha, please step forward. When they called Sasha and I up, I was sort of surprised because I didn't think I'd be, in my heart, I didn't think I'd be chosen for elimination. Sasha, you started off strong, but then you lost motivation and appeared to give up. Caroline, you're in the last bunch, so it's possible that you were slightly more fatigued. However, that was a perfect opportunity for you to show extra determination. We don't feel that you did. One girl has exhibited greater potential. The name Corporal Roberts calls out will be the girl that is eliminated. This has been a hard elimination because we've only had a very short time to get to know you. The name Corporal Roberts calls out will be the girl that is eliminated. Sasha, you are eliminated. Erica comes out and she's like, someone's going to get eliminated today. And at that point in time, I had a feeling it, it was going to be me. My heart was just racing so hard. I thought she was beautiful in her own way, but I didn't exactly look at her and go, Oh, she could be Australia's next top model. This is the first time that someone from Darwin has actually experienced something like this, and it is great to know that I have done it. She handled that so well, like, she's a star. She's an she's absolute star. star. As soon as I called out Sasha, and as soon as, obviously, she knew that she was going, I really thought in my mind, this is a competition now. Like, the competitive streak and everyone is going to come out. When I found out that they were all off at boot camp and I wasn't, the first thought that ran through my head was, maybe, I was a bit of an outcast. <laughs> Wow. Just as long as we'll get along somehow. <gasps> Went to the house and um, had a look around and it was just uh, yeah, in awe. It's, it's a great house. This is my bed. <gasps> ah! <laughs> it's New York! And I had to get ready and to welcome the girls back from their long day at boot camp. Some of them were a little bit confused as to why I was holding a glass of champagne in high heels and a sparkly dress. 
I thought she was a host because she was dressed up in that dress and it was like a gorgeous dress and I was just like, what's happening now? Hi everyone, my name's Madeline Rose and I was told to meet you guys here and we've got some Erica mail to read. Okay? Welcome to your luxurious harbour penthouse. You've already met Madeline, me. I'm replacing Sasha. Check out the bedrooms, they're fantastic. I'm in the red one, you'll see my stuff all over everywhere. We've got um, special gifts left on our bed. We've got some razors and some pyjamas and kind of nice girly things that you want to be greeted with when you come. So it was kind of nice. Put on some nice pyjamas and pamper ourselves, it was good. Caroline brought some photos out. There's a photo of her mother and a Libby Newton John. And I was looking at and I said, oh, that's Olivia Newton-John. And she goes, oh, well, yes, it is, but don't tell anyone. If she didn't want anyone to know about her auntie's Olivia Newton-John, don't bring the photo into the house. Did you know you were going to be an intruder? Oh, you feel <laughs> I'm, so I'm not an intruder. You're an intruder. You're an intruder. You're an intruder. You're an intruder. Wow. The intruder is my nickname. <laughs> yes. I don't know how I feel about that. And the girl got evicted today. So there's only 11 of you. Um, well, we got to the apartment and not there's an intruder. And there's one girl, she's so funny, her name's Ebony, and she's from Tasmania, and she speaks like this, and like, she's like, oh, okay. And no! She, okay, oh. I hope Catherine keeps. Yeah, she's like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do, like. I can sort of see myself becoming the stereotype of the quiet weird girl. Where's Melbourne to Sydney? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't even know where Sydney is, really. I don't even know either. <laughs> I think I'm going to New South Wales. <laughs> Because it was Erica's first time to the house, everyone was just kind of staring at her. My God, she's so beautiful. Like, we just all looked like crap by comparison. First elimination yesterday. We just didn't think that someone would be eliminated on the first day. No, like, it just... really came very unexpected. So it's a good indication that a model's career is riddled with knockbacks. You noticed that when you got home last night, there was somebody waiting for you. <laughs> There is always going to be someone there waiting to take your place. And you're always going to be competing against other girls. But not everyone can get the job. Learn how to deal with it. So while you're in the house, we'd like for you to develop good habits and healthy attitude. The man who is going to help you develop that body is Adam. Come on in. How are we going, guys? <laughs> so they brought me in to help you with weights some fitness training, and I'm going to share a few little secrets about fat loss with you as well. But before we do all that, let's go and weigh in. Mm -hmm. So, girls, pop into your swimming costumes. Out of your PJs, come on. When we had to stand up in front of the girls in our bikinis, it was a bit scary, just thinking that they're all going to judge us. Seventy-seven. It was a bit daunting to have to stand up in front of everyone in swimmers with most of my body revealed it was a bit uncomfortable. Eighty-three. I think Louise has probably got one of the most interesting looks out of all of us. She doesn't realise it though. She's very insecure about the way she looks. I'm okay with my top half, but on my bottom half could be improved a lot. Fifty-three point nine. I need to lose weight if I would ever consider being a catwalk model. 59.34. That's one of the things I feel a bit disadvantaged on in this competition. Okay, 84. It is Pamela. I know, but they're yeah. not fake, I promise. <laughs> I feel them, they're like... Caroline's boobs, they look like they've had a boob job. Ebony probably has the best figure in the competition. I think I was the heaviest person here, which I wasn't surprised about. 62.6, .6 because the other girls really are very slender. The best model figure has definitely got to go to Sophie. She's got the look, I think. 